Welcome cuties, let's create. Today I'm going to be doing another holiday outfit. And I have noticed I'm always a week late because honestly I kind of forget and I have like all these videos that I'm doing. And lately I've been trying to get a bunch of videos scheduled so that way they can just automatically come up and I'll be like ahead of schedule so I'll be able to like film a bunch and then yeah so I was filming all these different ones and I was like oh yeah there's a holiday coming up <laughs> I need to do my holiday outfit so that's kind of what happens like every holiday is I always kind of forget and then it's the holiday and I'm like oh yeah I need to do one of those so here we are, a little late, but it's fine, because we're here. So, um, I know probably most of you are from America, but if anyone is watching that's not from America, um, this is going to be from um, the holiday, the 4th of July, so this is um, kind of when we celebrate our independence of when America became its own country and was like really independent and not from you know getting not had power no other country had power over us so that's kind of what it was and so I could be wrong but that's what I think it is so because I, I am I'm very grateful that you know we have the freedoms that we do and I'm grateful for being in this country so as crazy as it may be right now so anyway I this isn't something I would wear just because I kind of gave her a belly shirt and I don't like wearing belly shirts just because um, it's immodest and also I do not have the right body for it so there's two things against it so but I kind of wanted to give her this like kind of loose like belly shirt and then gave her like high-waisted shorts and I thought about giving her like an army hat um, but I wasn't sure how to draw it that's one thing that I'm gonna have to really look into of like how to draw hats on people because I I don't and so I was like you know what let's just make it easy I'm not trying a hat <laughs> so that's what I did and I end up doing because I was like you know what I want to give like a different um hairstyle and so um because I feel like a lot of the time I draw just like straight or wavy hair and that's like it and so I was like you know what I'm gonna give her a ponytail and so I decided to give her a ponytail later on um I did I I wanted to give her like you know the salute because I thought that was cute and then it would have been cute with the army hat but that didn't work out so but and I feel like her hand actually turned out pretty okay I kind of wish that I made it a little bigger because I've noticed I tend to draw hands really really small it's a downfall that I have because you know they'll have like a really big body and then you know like it seems all proportioned and then all of a sudden it's like little baby hand and so I really need to work on like the proportion of how big the hand really is I kind of feel like I have gotten good at putting the hand where it's supposed to because our hands kind of like well, at least with drawing is our hands kind of fall where like the crotch region is and so you just kind of need to make sure that that's where your hands are so I feel like I've gotten good at that of having the arms not be too short but then there's the hands and then they're too small or they're too big you know I just ugh. I'm frustrated of why I struggle so much um, but you know it's fine it's fine so it all works out um, so yeah I decided to give her a 4th of July shirt I thought about when I was kind of brainstorming of maybe what she would look like I thought about maybe giving her fireworks somewhere and when I went to drawing, I honestly forgot. 
you're gonna learn in this video that apparently I'm very very spacey <laughs> so yeah and you probably already notice in past videos when I'm talking and I'll like forget the word and I'm just like uh <laughs> so yeah that's where it comes from I don't know why I feel like my memory has gotten worse over time so <laughs> it's a curse that I apparently have but so yeah I wanted to give her nice big lips and oh my gosh I think they turn out so pretty I like love her lips they like my favorite I think she turns out so cute look at that hair so cute so like big that's the thing is I tried to give her straight across bangs and I was like okay I'm not liking how this is looking so I kind of gave her these like side bangs but they're like parted in the middle and I think it actually turns out pretty cute I that's the other thing is where her hand is I feel like I get kind of got confused of like I wanted to make sure you could see her eye and I wanted to make sure that you still saw the hand and trying to figure out the hair and I would yeah but it turns out fine so it's fine it's all good and I always I always skip the fine lining part just because you just saw me draw it so <laughs> you don't need to see me draw it again because that'd be boring this is literally me just outlining everything so yeah but I was like oh yeah I have this thing that protects my desk because as you can see there was one time I did not I did not have that at the time and I got marker on my desk I'm gonna have to get like a see here we go I forgot magic eraser and see if I can get it off because yeah it upsets me because I just like painted this I like redid my whole desk and it looks like so cute like I have like crystally knobs and they're so they're so adorable and then I got like contact paper and I it looks like all marbly on the inside of my drawers anyway I'm getting distracted of what this video is about <laughs> I, um, so yeah I decided to use um, all so I have two sets of markers and I have see oh, look at those lips oh, it's like Mulan when Mulan gets her lips painted and it's just so satisfying and beautiful mm, so pretty anyway back to what I was saying so I have like two big sets of markers and I have like a couple little ones like I have one Copic <laughs> I have one Copic marker just because the nice thing is is like most markers you can't just get like one but if you go to Hobby Lobby they have like the whole like all the colors of Copics and then they have Prisma colors as well I think they have one more brand but I can't think of what it is at the point like right now and so I have one Copic and I got it from Hobby Lobby and then I have a couple of Prisma colors just because I was like oh my gosh like everyone knows that Copic markers are just so expensive they're like almost eight dollars a marker and it's just like crazy ridiculous and I mean you get what you pay for they're really good markers and they last a long time and blah 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 but they're just really expensive and I do not have the budget for it like I'm poor okay I'm not poor because I but yeah I'm pretty much poor <laughs> you don't need to know that so I have some of those and then I have like probably four or five Copic marker or not Copic Prisma color markers and then I have like f four off-brand ones that I got from Daiso and then I got one one marker that I got from Wish and then I have like two big sets so I have like a set of 70 and then I have a set of 40 and this one I kind of use both so I have Artify and then I have Ohuhu that I am um, coloring with and I am going to be doing a video later in this month I'm not gonna promise any days 
Um, but later this month, I'm going to be doing a kind of review of the Ohuhu because I have just heard so much about it, like all over the artist community on YouTube. Like, if people don't have Copic, then they have Ohuhu. So I was like, I need to try these and I really want them. And my husband let me get them. So, win, win, win. So that's what I did. And so I will be reviewing those later. And yeah, so I feel like it actually works out nicely. And I I like both of these sets of markers because I feel like Artify has a lot of browns that I can choose from. Um, and then I like how Ohuhu has a lot of pastels. So I just feel like I can use both and it's very, very nice. So yeah, but... I hope you guys had a safe 4th of July. Um, I hope you guys got to enjoy fireworks and lots of yummy food. Please comment down below like what you did for the 4th because I would love to know because it's always fun to hear about other people's traditions of what they do for the holidays. So please leave a comment. Let me know because maybe I want new ideas. Or maybe I want to create new traditions. So let me know down below.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.